Hello, hi, how are you today? This is Patricia from Chicago, Illinois, and as you can see, I've got some other lighting because it is rainy days and Mondays. But I wanna to talk to you about this new moon coming up. This new moon is in Virgo with some sun energy, and I'm very much simplifying this for people. But one of the things that is very productive about this new moon is what it can help you address when you're proactive about it. So let's get right into it. This new moon, like a lot of the times before a season change, you will notice that there's a real push and opportunity for regrowth, regrowth for the changing season. So we're coming up to the equinox. If you're a little bit further in your journey, you will sometimes find that you are feeling this ahead of time. Maybe you were feeling it from last week. How are some of the things you know? Have you had some cravings? Have you had appetite surges? Have you felt like you want to eat something until the cows come home? That's a part of the regrowth. That's actually a growth spurt. And while you do have to manage it and balance it and be moderate, it's one of those signs. The other thing is this is some energy for some of the quickest ways and manner to get your child and your teen back. So what does that mean for you? That can mean energy. That can mean your youthful vitality. That can mean your joy, your interest in things. It could mean, yeah, sometimes finding a crush. For some people, it can mean things like you have a re-spark in your romance life. Yes, the romance life where you want a real life. You want what life really has to offer. You want a partner. You're tired of being alone. You know, I could say these things, but the real difference is going to be how it feels. How is it feeling to you? The next thing is when we talk about ancestors, a lot of people thought, talk about generational traumas, ancestral patterns, things like that. But this means living and finishing things that your ancestors were never able to. So what is it? Like, was it having a longer life? Was it having no disease? Was it having some of the youthful vitality to see things through? Because anything worth doing is worth doing well and remember who you are. That is what some of this moon energy is about. I have a moonstone on. This moonstone, when you look at it up close, does look like a one of those like valleys in the moon energy. If you look at the moon and you see like those valleys, the, I call this my new moon stone. I tend to wear it when a new moon is coming up. I also have a little nod to my country, United States of America, because today is 9-11. So those people, they went to work. And that's who we have to remember. We have to remember the people that this is about people. And it's not about slinging mud at governments and stuff like that. It's time to roll up your sleeves and grow. It's time to find your energy back, the joy that you had as a child. You know, like those kids that are like, I want to be a fireman when I grow up. Not like... I want to be on call because of false alarms all the time and I'm burned out. You need to find that reason, that joy, and get it back. I am hosting a new moon workshop for two days, a day before and a day after, because the after the actual lunar energy is highly significant because that's when a lot of people get tumbled around. That's why I do it. That's why I do it on more than one day most of the time. So these things are on our agenda to talk about. And we also do a very deep wish prayer, lucid meditation to activate some of these things or all of these things. What is it that you need? What is going to jumpstart your journey? So join us. If you look below, you can see the Eventbrite link. And you can see that um, this is set up, coming up here pretty quickly. This week is going to have a lot of energy events. My heart goes out to the people in Morocco, in Turkey, all of the people suffering from the fires, the people in Maui. I've been to Maui. It's one of my ancestral homes. 
I think that one of the things that needs to come after these crises is preventing crisis, preventing things and being preventative and being proactive. That is one of the messages that my country really had to get is mind the store, be vigilant, be preventative, be proactive, repair the broken things, fix it before it becomes a crisis. So that's part of the regrowth. Hope you can join us and have a great day. Bye.